I know things you never see. You never see someone taking a shit while running at full speed. Come on, kid, get rid of some of them turds in the shit box. Welcome to the Bathroom Break Podcast with me, Rab himself. Yeah, just a ba- baby shaka. Always keep the mic a baby shaka away. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, hell yeah! I'm just gonna show you. I have more. I just don't. I don't know where they are. Are you recording right that? Stuff? Oh, okay. I have a bunch more shakas upstairs. <laughs> shakas everywhere. There's yeah. a bunch, I think, in that filing cabinet right there. Shakalaka. <laughs> mm-hmm. mm. Hi, Mister Himself. Uh. Yeah, just uh, looking at 4,000 years of history on one single page. It's a shit ton. <laughs> it's only a dollar, too. Tells you everything about everything. Yeah, it's all you need up to like 63 or something. Yeah, and what do you need after that, really? I don't know, I don't... man. What's happening these days? <laughs> just crazy stuff. So we're, uh, we're sitting here in like a bomb shelter. <laughs> yep. We're Welcome. safe. Welcome here. <laughs> We're very, very safe right now. Podcasters check in and they don't check out. Podcasters? Yeah, podcasters. podcasters. That's, That's right. That's how it's said. Mm-hmm. What does Plural. podcast really mean? I just don't get it. I really don't. Pod cast. Mm. We're casting a pod, I think. That's a... But I'm not sure. Yeah, you're good. Hmm. Thank <laughs> yeah. you. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> Pretty much Webster's Dictionary right here, I think. Oh, it's around here somewhere. <laughs> There's a whole lot of them. There's like an Encyclopedia Britannica. Remember that kid with the blonde hair and the, <laughs> and the glasses? That sells them? Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Isn't that crazy? Now it's just the little thing in your pocket. Yeah. A rectangle. It's got it all. No <laughs> it's more got door-to-door it all. encyclopedias. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, you have Beethoven's uh, original right over there. Oh, I got so much Beethoven up in this piece. God damn. Everywhere. This place is awesome. Yeah. Welcome to the Bathroom Break Podcast. I'm Rab himself. We're getting serious now with Dave England. And uh, we're sitting in his bomb shelter. He's not lying. <laughs> what are we going to talk about? Dude, how, how, what is this place, first off? I just got to clear that up. It's, uh, it's like an archive fireproof room. That's yeah. Really cold. And, and it's got really heavy. old, cool stuff in it. Yeah. Yeah, the guy that originally lived here... You know, he passed away, and then so they just left all his books and reel-to-reel tapes, and there's like metal wire audio tapes, and uh, all the all the players are over here, so I can play this stuff and get shocked and everything. And yeah, all these books and old records, and dude, it's really insane. Cool. Yeah. And I saw a picture right behind me that had some guy's dick and vagina, and I I thought he was making pizza, but yeah, he's. It's, actually got a like dead a woman with a vagina or dead something. woman in a hammock or somebody's putting <laughs> flour all over her for some reason dude it's crazy so that guy just left all this after he died well yeah a lot of people don't come back for their stuff after they die oh yeah they just leave it it's weird it's, <laughs> you, like it's that, you pretty rude take it with you thing. <laughs> yeah <laughs> ah, makes sense yeah so here's what happens if you die all your shit stays in and they do podcasts in the background <laughs> yeah I love it. I love that you just kept it and oh, it's yeah. all here. I mean, it's really interesting stuff. You said there was a reel to reel of some guy. Aldous Huxley giving a commencement speech at Happy Valley School here in Ojai from 1951. I have that on a reel to reel. Damn, I want to watch that. I think it's we a, should just sound. Let's turn this off and watch that right now. Yeah. And the player <laughs> sometimes shocks you when you're trying to hook up the reel to reel. It's good. You always need yeah. to be shocked a little bit. Yeah. Oh, man. So, what's up? What's happening? Just here in this little town, we got a bunch of chickens and a bunch of kids in that order. I know, dude. Oh, I could no smell. Shit. I could smell the chicken shit as oh, we came in. Oh, oh, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> we pull up and it's just like, hmm. I just smell poop. Oh God, it's so horrible. We have a. Yeah, what is it? There's like 29 of them right now because we had 14 baby chicks. So oh yeah. Trying to give them away, but yeah, we have 29 chickens and that stinks. Yeah. Oh man, well it's funny because I feel like you and I are like poop brothers, and uh, yeah. and That's and everywhere we go, about. it smells like poop around you, yeah. and there's poop around me, and uh, and we're on the bathroom break podcast, and yeah. uh, shit just happens to be the subject. Shit and stereo. <laughs> but yeah, so like you you started the shit. You got to know that, right? I didn't. You started shitting out in front of everybody first. You did the running while shitting. <laughs> all uh, George and, and, uh, Carl. Uh, yeah, yeah George Carlin, Carlin, dude. Carlin. 
Yeah, he uh he yeah. yeah, he well that I mean I always thought he was funny and that and that was actually uh Jess Margera's idea cuz he cuz he uh he turned me on to George Carlin and the comedian stuff. And as he was saying that, like, you, you'll never see a man running full speed while taking a shit. Like, I was known as the shit guy because I threw shit on the lockers in high school to get oh, expelled from, wow. yeah, from, from high school. Your own shit or dog shit? Yeah, my own wow. shit. I, I shit into a coffee mug. And, uh, and the plan was I wanted to take a shit in this health teacher's like coffee mug and wow. like take the shit in it and then put it back on his desk oh man and like then he when he gets back from lunch there'll just be a turd like hanging out <laughs> wow. that, that was funny to me and i and i was like dude this is gonna be so funny and and that was the plan but then i ended up when i was in the hallway this girl who was like a goody two-shoes kind of girl she was like definitely gonna tell me and she saw was coming down the hallway and i was like oh, oh. i freaked out so then i just splattered it all over the lockers wow. and then threw the shit cup in the girl's bathroom and I'm like and I got shit on my foot so then I'm like trying to get the shit off my foot and I go into like the uh like the water you know the uh, water fountain and I'm washing the shit off the foot in the water fountain and then this teacher comes out and she's like what what's going on out here ew like ew ew I think there's and she so then she calls the principal there's there's feces on the locker here <laughs> so anyway i get kicked out of school they knew they put it all together like, yeah they figured it out because the teacher's mug and yeah because i i was a little hellion you better off just running in there just forget that girl <laughs> shove her into a locker and then yeah and then just put it really, in the yeah, yeah well i uh, accomplished yeah I, I was such a hellion that they were they told me that morning i had a meeting with, pretty mellow from that description yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> that morning they were like okay with my parents and the principals like if if chris does anything else the rest of the year like he's going to be expelled from school and i walked out of that meeting i was like it's fucking january i'm never gonna make it till june without doing that again. yeah yeah so then so then i that was the that that was the day the office right back to shitting yeah or something. yeah it just went and shit in the mug shit and in the office yeah and uh so yeah it's just been uh shit after shit after shit and dude the funny thing was years later like right when jackass the show started um Bam and I went outside because we were like, oh, we got to film some stuff because like they're, you know, the pi they were putting the, the pilot together and then it was like, well, we need to just kind of be in the habit of filming. So we went outside and um, and I had to take a shit. So I get like a newspaper and I stand by the, the stop sign and just pull my pants down and take a right. shit there. And it happened to fucking be one of the dudes on the school board that expelled me. It was like the most Nothing's perfect. Changed with Chris. Yeah, and it was so good because I didn't know at the time, and we took the shit, and then we get back and we look at the footage, and I was like, "Fuck, that's Mr. Zimbano, the guy that was on the school board that oh expelled God. me from school," and uh, and and it was just so fucking perfect. We were dying because we just kept slow moing his wife's reaction. She's like, "Ah, <laughs> ah," like just staring at it, and it was like she had to look right up my asshole while the shit came had, pouring she had out no of choice. it. Yeah. <laughs> She was bound by contract. Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean? She's like, ah! Like, once she locked eyes with your butthole, she's like, I can't look away! It won't let me! Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's Jesus. So, uh, so yeah, so shit has been a part of my life, and shit has been a part of your life. Yeah, and... I'll tell you how mine started. I, I was a very unpopular child. <laughs> no one would hang out with me, and then we had this little field behind our little neighborhood, and... Uh, I was out there, and I had a we, Gatorade bottles used to be glass instead of plaques. You know, like, yeah, yeah, I remember opening. that. Yeah, yeah. And so I, I, I take a <laughs> shit, and I shit in it, and then I'm like, I didn't know what to do with it. Everyone's looking at me, so I threw it at a log, and it, boom, it, all the glass broke, and the shit stuck to the log, and they're like, <laughs> yes! And everyone, like, all the neighborhood kids cheered for me, and after that, I was I was you know in with the crew <laughs> you're like so i kept that in my back pocket until jackass started and then you broke the ice with your hell yeah sh shitanagree oh, i was gonna try to make a word with shit shenanigans and shit shitanagrees yeah i like it shitanigans <laughs> and then uh, i i think it was because i ended up doing the um the puking omelet where i eat the omelet yeah. the raw and then puke it into the thing so that when the movie came around they're like why you know whitey mcconaughey is one of the filmers he was a snowboard filmer and he yeah. ended up filming some stuff on jackass he wrote the idea of the hardware store shit so yeah 
they just all were pointing at me. They're like, you do it. I'm like, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, you just shit whenever? I'm like, yeah, I can shit on command. <laughs> well, I got to take one now. Yeah. I can, <laughs> like, I can literally take a shit right here between us. Yeah, no you probably should. Yeah. I want to feel like we're in the chicken mm-hmm. coop. Yeah, that would, if we would have filmed it out there, I would have shit in the chicken coop. But I'm going to shit in between us. You know I am. Yes. <laughs> There's got to be shit. Come to terms with that. <laughs> we should just marry our shits together. I uh, thought you were saying marinate. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Same thing. Yes, Married yes. and marinate shits together mm. yeah. <laughs> what did you eat this morning uh i just had a bowl of cereal and a coffee but then i stepped it up with a stir fry and some egg rolls i made, there, I made oh them. there you go so, you know, they were so the egg roll yeah. shit is gonna smell terrible yeah, I ate all the ingredients raw and puked it into the wok <laughs> <laughs> hell yeah dude oh my god so yes lots of poop everywhere and uh, yeah, everywhere smeared all over the walls <laughs> the lockers and stuff too hell yeah so i wanted to hear a little bit about like you know between Gatorade shit bottle and jackass, like you were uh, basically like an awesome snowboarder, and and like kind of how like how did you get into the mix of everybody? And huh? I don't think there's anything in between the Gatorade shit bottle and then <laughs> sitting on the big screen. There, 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 there's nothing. I was in a coma actually. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember any of it, yeah, but I it do know it blankness. smelled. Yeah, very stinky, <laughs> but that's it. No, uh, yeah, I, well, I skate. I was, I started skateboarding when I was like thirteen, nineteen eighty-three yeah. or something. And then, uh, and then from that, like, I finally ended up snowboarding. I hated, I hated surfing and snowboarding because it was expensive. You needed all this special equipment. And you had to go to a special place. And yeah, skateboarding you just do it in front of your house or wherever. And then I finally caved in, tried snowboarding. When I was like nineteen or eighteen. And I loved it so much, I just moved to Colorado. I didn't even know anyone. I had a little Honda Civic, a 77 Honda Civic. Damn. I packed it with you know the few belongings I had and just drove there. And my car blew up right when I got there. <laughs> Halfway there, I was in Utah. Yeah, I, I'm start, I started out here in California. In Utah, I get pulled over, and the cop's like, you have no license, no registration, no insurance. I'm like, I'm moving. <laughs> I'm right in the middle of moving. I'd have to redo it all there. And, you know, I was speeding also. He's like, just get out of here. So yeah. if that guy didn't let me go, I would have just still been rotting in jail and in Utah, in, yeah, southern, <laughs> southern Utah. But I made it to Colorado, started snowboarding, turned pro finally. Back then, it was like if you snow, if you were into snowboarding, you could turn pro. That was how easy it oh, was. Oh, okay. Just, just a handful. Everyone knew each other. It was really cool. So then, uh, and then after that, I worked at a snowboard magazine, and then, uh, and then Ken Block. You know who that guy is? Yeah, the car so guy. Crazy. Yeah, that guy. Yeah. I've known him. I met him in Colorado. We li- both lived in Breckenridge, and when I first met him, it was like 1990, I think, or 89, and he. Uh, he made white shirts with black eight balls on them and black shirts with white eight balls on them. That's what, that's what he did. I swear. <laughs> then, then he like made more stuff and then he moved to California and he started, uh, what did he start first? Dub or drawers? I think it was drawers first. Drawers oh yeah. Clothing, and then dub snowboard clothing. Then he started DC shoes. And every time I'd go visit what him, the he'd fuck? have a bigger Ken warehouse. Ken did all that? Yeah. Him and Damon Way, Dave, yeah. uh, Danny Way's brother. Yeah. And so, uh, Every time I go visit him, he you know started out he had like a, a modest warehouse, then a little bigger, and then finally it was like a city sized warehouse, just crazy. <laughs> Damn. And yeah, so he's the most successful person I've ever. So met. just crazy. eight balls on shirts. Yeah. And so we yeah. Would've... So then yeah. So then he ended up, you know, he was friends with Rocco, and then they were doing Big Brother magazine. So uh, he's like, I want to do a snowboard magazine like that. So he started Blunt Snowboard magazine. Yeah. And then he was too busy with those all the clothing companies, so I ended up being the editor of it. And then yeah, uh, right. Then Larry Flint, you know bought it's so weird he bought you know blunt and big brother yeah. magazine and then so it turned out that you know i was working in an office next door to termaine and yeah and those dudes as we say yeah and, <laughs> and so yeah that's how i met them and then i would help them do little silly bits for the big brother videos and yeah suddenly we're making a tv show i thought it was gonna be on <laughs> once in the middle of the night yeah and ended up being somehow popular i was a naysayer <laughs> yeah dude i mean i was that way too because like uh people would be like oh you're gonna quit college and do this i'm like this is gonna be over in 20 minutes oh, what yeah. do you mean like i felt the soon as the pilot played it was like well that was cool <laughs> or that sucked <laughs> yeah yeah yeah, yeah, I didn't, yeah. I didn't think anyone want to see our stupid shit yeah literally i know yeah yeah but they did i know and it's crazy that it, yeah that it turned into what it did and and uh you know traveling the world and doing all yeah. that insane stuff but um damn so so Ken Block kind of helped kind of get you linked in oh, the yeah, mix you know like sure. yeah that's crazy cuz cuz when i think of that guy i just think of like all the car stuff and like you know i know now huh yeah. he's all car everything yeah. yeah before that he was you know skater snowboarder guy and then he like a yeah. manure i guess you'd call him and yeah hell yeah just <laughs> built up a you know this crazy 
dynasty. Yeah, that, that's amazing. So, damn. So, okay. So then when you, like, at that point when the show started, did you um, kind of, like, I remember it because you would do bits with, like, the snowboard, like, where you're naked and doing, you know, yeah. and, and that stuff was, was hilarious. And so did you keep kind of riding for... Oh, no, I was a washed-up snowboard by the Yeah, yeah, sure. yeah, 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 okay. Yeah, I just, you know, I just, I ended up, like, you know, lost one of my balls snowboarding. Oh. <laughs> uh, belly flopped some <laughs> rocks and cracked my kidney and spleen. Wait, just, rewind to the ball. What? How did you lose the ball? Uh, it was uh, 1997. I was in New Zealand. And also, not to cut you off, you have, like, you four kids. Out. Yeah. <laughs> and you have one ball? Yeah, I'd have that's eight amazing. if I had two. Yeah. I'm so happy. <laughs> At the time, it seemed like a tragedy. Now it's the best thing that's ever happened to me. <laughs> but, um, well, you know, I'll, I'll even back up two years before. It was 1995, and I was dating this girl from New Zealand, so we were back and forth, you know, snowboarding all the time. So they have opposite seasons, so we do – it was winter, 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 like, oh, hell for yeah. years. Anyway, so I went to her family dentist – and I had a shit ton of cavities. I never went to the dentist. Yeah. And they feel like 11 for like $100 or something crazy because you know, they have socialized medicine. Oh. And then over the next two years, all the cavities just fell out. <laughs> I'm like, oh, that sucks. So then I, I got this double hernia. I, I did a jump uh, like a snow park in New Zealand, and I landed flat. And, uh, you know, I knew I had a double hernia because my guts were popping out. And I yeah. I was pushing them in. So I... Uh, I'm like, I'm not, I don't want to get a surgery here. I'm going to go home. So I flew back. I, I just moved to Portland. I didn't know anyone there. And uh, I go to the doctor. They're like, we got to do the surgery right now. And they did it. And I wake up, just stinging sensation. And I was, you know, they're like, sorry, we had to chop up one, you know, take out one of your testicles. And I was like, what? what? I was like, you know, what happened? They said it got wrapped up in the gut and strangulated. And if I would have got surgery in New Zealand, that probably could have been salvaged. But I'm like, well, where is it? And they're like, we threw it away. I'm like, what do you mean? They're like, you signed a <laughs> signed a thing, the waiver that says we can throw away any medical waste. I'm like, that's not medical <laughs> waste. It's my nut. And so, yeah, I wanted to put it in a jar on, in formaldehyde and put it on my mantle. But And then see, people say, you have one nut. I'm like, no, I got two. It's just right here. <laughs> but uh, so anyways, damn. yeah, so like. It was pretty harsh, and then they they told me afterwards that I would never have kids because I was shooting blanks and and that because the other one swole up real big, like really big, like grapefruit, yeah. and then where my dick connected to my body got really, really little, and then my dick turned purple and dark blue, oh, and it had a big blood goiter at the end of it, and it looked like a banana that was gonna fall off the vine, like a <laughs> rotten banana. It was I would just <laughs> cry every day, Fuck. and then I remember finally like about three weeks after that, I was just bedridden, and then uh, I got my first morning wood boner, you know. Dude, you know that hurt? saying? It's like a bruised dick. You can't beat it. It's true. Yeah. <laughs> it hurts so bad. It was the worst boner I've ever had. And then, what was it? <laughs> I, was like, I, tell I you. love that you can specifically remember the worst boner you've ever it had. It was, yeah. And some, there was something else really important I had to tell you. <laughs> I remember. I hate that. <laughs> Wait, so you, with no, the man. balls. Yeah, and ball. then and ball. the ball. Yeah. Used to have. Dude, I, that's I insane. Oh, I know what I was going to say. So then fast forward to, you know, we're doing Jackass. It's been, a, I think it was like, by the second movie, we were coming up with ideas, and I'm like, what if I put a G.I. Joe head in there? Because they had offered me a fake nut, and I'm like, I don't want a piece of plastic in there. And then I thought again, I'm like, unless it had a face, and I could press it to the surface. <laughs> and then so I think it might have been Sean Cliver that upped it to be even have a light-up thing, like have a battery that's lit. And we were going to do it. We had this doctor in Mexico. He said, okay. We're just I, I think I had the plane ticket, everything, and then he backed out. He got scared. So we went to India, and there was a doctor. He was going to both do... Uh, Preston, where he was gonna, I think, did Chris talk about that or something where he was gonna cook the fat? Cook oh, the yeah, yeah. So we're in, okay, so this is what it was. It was called the, the, um, ah, what was it called? It was just called the Monte Cristo, I think, because he's <laughs> gonna make a Monte Cristo sandwich out of his own, and <laughs> fry it in his own fat. So, you know, it's pretty invasive surgery. And so they, they, we're in the middle of India in Jaipur, the pink city. And uh, we go, to this super sketchy it's like hotter in the hospital than it was outside and it was like 104 outside there's flies <laughs> dirt all over the place and um you know Preston's pouring sweat they made him fast for uh, over 24 hours so he's like just freaking out and you know really stressed out and uh i'm in a chef's costume because i was gonna do the cooking part of it oh. and so the producers start walking back and forth angrier and angrier you know that guy trip Trip yeah, Taylor, yeah, he yeah. really drew really mad. We're like, what's <laughs> up? And finally, we, like, we saw them with this giant thing of Indian money, like trying to yeah. tell the guy. And the guy just, the doctor's like, no, nah, I can't do it. So he backed out of that. Yeah, and after bailed. that, he said he wouldn't do my light up ball either. <laughs> oh, I hate that doctor. But that, that was a dirty hospital. But yeah, I was like, it's, I think it was best, a good call that it yeah. didn't happen. But. Yeah. It's so funny to me, though, that when you start talking about that, 
then immediately it's like Mexico or India, and you got to find like some sketch ass place. Like yeah. maybe not a good idea. I know, but you get so excited about stuff. Sometimes you like the, you just like yeah. What do they call blinders there, on? Yeah, yeah there's like, there's no thought. Tunnel vision. You're like, I want that light up nut. I don't care how dirty the place is. And you know, he yeah. That sandwich. He was hungry. He hadn't eaten for over 24 hours. Yeah, yeah. Like a Monte Cristo sandwich. You kidding me? Sounds delicious. Yeah. <laughs> I know that because there was this uh, episode of Evil Abam where I married a mail order bride and uh i wanted to marry her like i was like i'm gonna marry her for real and then she can just like do what a wife does you know like i was at that time like you know like that's, that's not poli- what a wife that's does. not politically wait, 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 correct expand, right now but like like laundry does? and and oh. like and then like cook food and like all that like you know like uh male chauvinistic shit that i thought when i was 21 yeah. years old but um <laughs> That was the idea is like, just get her to take care of all that shit while I'm out on the road and whatever. And I really wanted to marry her and I was going for it and that's what I was going to do. And then MTV like stopped it at the last part and wouldn't let me sign the legal documents. And like, thank fucking God. Yeah. They're looking because, you. Uh, you know, yeah. And then like I, we ended up not being legally married and so it wasn't a big pain in the ass. So, but yeah. it was funny. Like, like I was thought of that because when you said like the blinders on like, nope, I need somebody. Yeah. To, this and, is going to be hilarious. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it was, yeah, it was going to be great. But uh, yeah, somebody was watching out. So now that you all know that I'm not politically correct and i'm just a male chauvinistic pig <laughs> but hey uh we've grown all right like kevin hart i've grown over the years <laughs> he's taller now i thought he's a little guy. yeah yeah he's like six foot three oh, wow. now yeah that's awesome mm-hmm. good for him yeah <laughs> but uh but yeah so okay so then you couldn't couldn't uh put the gi joe light up balls in and and uh what well, do you do i have one yeah. already yeah. Need... oh that was my other idea i'm like i only got five or six in there <laughs> we were talking to the doctor when he first offered me i'm like how many could i get in there he's like what do you mean you're gonna put the one in and i'm like well how many do you think will fit yeah <laughs> they didn't like me after that dude i think um bam's dad phil had three balls when he was born oh real they had balls? To get, yeah yeah they wow. get rid of one of them <laughs> wow yeah so he my should friend have... came up with an invention once. What did he call it? It's called. Uh, it was I can't even remember, but his name's J Two. He was in Jackass a few times. He's a really funny guy, snowboarder. And anyways, he had this thing. It was like a third nut that was a like a poopery. I don't even know how to say that word. Poopery. Yeah. It was a poopery <laughs> sack that goes around. So it's like an extra nut that keeps things fresh down there. <laughs> That's a great I idea. I don't know if he ever did yeah. it. Yeah. You should try it. It had a good name too. I can't think of it right now. <laughs> oh man. So. uh so okay, so the Jackass world with the Jackass 3D and all that kind of stuff, and and um, you know you you've done a bunch of other things as well too. Like you're you're quite an actor, no, but you have you oh, have God. you've done some uh, you've done I'm some not movies. A good actor. And... <laughs> I've never ever set out to be on TV at all. Yeah, ever. Yeah, and, and all just... of a sudden we were I just that, like stumbled on it on accident, which <laughs> awesome. I'm so happy. Yeah, but I didn't mean to. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, you guys did that TV the movie thing. I did not. I or you didn't do it. Do with that. Oh, no, oh I thought I was like Steve O oh, did it or something, and yeah, I thought I, for some reason I that. thought you were in it. No, but I the thing I like so much about it that is Miami Mice. It's like it's like Wee Man and then a, a black midget and they're um or dwarfs whatever you know, <laughs> and they're like Miami Vice and they're like Miami Mice because they're little. That's funny. I've never seen it, so obviously clearly it's I haven't. Not that good. Yeah, I imagine it's amazing. And then Lucky <laughs> Cucumber. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Next. Yeah, that's Preston. But I wasn't movie. in that either. Okay. I was the ones that I'm ashamed of are Shred in the sequel. <laughs> Instead of calling it Shred Two, it was uh, it was me. I was like the good guy, and Tom Green was the bad guy. Okay. We filmed both. The Dude, he's first hilarious. And the, yes, he's so funny. And the, the first one and the second one in five weeks in interior BC in Canada, and. Uh, Wait, you they, they, the first one they both of them shred. in five yeah. weeks? <laughs> Two full feature length films out in the middle of winter and like we'd film in blizzards and stuff, just whatever, just all day outside. Hell yeah. And, uh, and we got to do a lot of snowboarding. It was fun. I'm not complaining. <laughs> or am I? And, and the, but the <laughs> sequel, you think it'd be called Shred 2, right? Shred. Yeah. And then the, the sequel came out and they called it, I'm see if I can even remember it, The Revenge of the Boarding School Dropouts. <laughs> I was like, it didn't even make sense at all. I wasn't what happens in the movie. But they, they suck. But it's technically suck. a sequel. Yeah, somehow. I didn't even have to. I didn't audition or anything. They called me up and they're like, um, it was in between Jackass 2 and 3, 2007, I think. They called me up. They're like, we want you to do this, the lead role of this movie. I go, I've never memorized a line ever. I can barely remember the shit I wanted to say anyway. Like, look at me. I'm like, oh, wait, what's that called? Yeah. And then they're like, oh, you'll figure it out. I'm like, 
are you sure? They're like, yeah, yeah, you got it. Like, You're playing a washed up snowboarder. It'll come natural. I'm like, oh, thanks. Thanks for reminding me. And then I get there and I mean, like, just script, you know, a script. Yeah. I'm, like looking at it and then, like, there's like the first thing I do is this chunk. It was like <laughs> three quarters of a page, just me talking. And oh. I just seized up. I was like, I, I told you guys, and they're all filming. Like, I told you. Five you weeks. They're like, uh oh. And, and the other actors were all these, everyone, I was the only American. Everyone was Canadian. All the, the crew, the cast, everybody. So, they just they just speed taught me how to act, how to memorize shit and everything, and it was awesome. By like the second oh, day, damn. I'm like, oh, I get it, and I you know I started to get it. Yeah, I just magically get it. But they Dude. they just they made it happen, and I, and I mean the movie sucked, but like I actually I felt like I was acting. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> don't know. Like well, I said, I was just playing a washed up snowboard. Yeah, I'll have so. to go watch that man. No, you won't. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but it's funny to me that like you told them straight up like no i oh, yeah. i don't act and they're like you'll figure it out yeah <laughs> like, but... they were right but still <laughs> yeah. i just love that like it's like there's so many people out there going to like those cattle call auditions like yeah. their whole life like i just want to be an actor and then like yeah. you get a call and you're like no i'm not good at it i suck at it i don't i shouldn't do it and they're like you should <laughs> it <was> exactly like <laughs> that yeah, that's just funny to me you know because yeah. you think of like that was the lead how it role. Works. Yeah, yeah. Two feature league films in a row, like no time for error. <laughs> you know, that's all, you know, five, I don't know how many, seven times five, 35 days. Yeah. In movies. Like there's one day, you know, like I said, we had no time to spare. One day we go to film and Tom Green has smoked some really good weed that he, like he couldn't remember his shit. He just kept drawing blanks. Yeah. And I was like, yes. Like I was excited. I thought it was hilarious. You know, You're like, like good. all mad at him. This and, guy's actually good at this yeah. and he's sucking. Yeah. Yeah. But he was good. He's really funny. Yeah. I'm he's not talking shit about him. He's yeah. on, so, what is it called? Big Brother? the um tv show which is, i think it's so weird because you know i just like the first well there's big brother the government and then there's big yeah. brother the skateboard magazine yeah and then when there was that show called big brother i'm like how dare they yeah 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 that's the skateboard magazine exactly <laughs> no business calling it that <laughs> but, but so he's on he's that on show right now right now yeah, okay. i don't watch it but i yeah I follow i well i was gonna say i follow his parents but i don't but they took over his instagram account <laughs> oh so yeah, nice. It now while he's in the house, <laughs> yeah. I guess they're not. They're oh, not that's awesome. To do Instagram, I guess, in there. I don't know. Yeah, dude, dude, he's such an inspiration, and I and I always talk about Tom Green because people will go, Jackass oh, yeah. was like the original thing. Like this is like nothing yeah. before that, and you're like, dude, Tom Green, Buzzkill, like those shows were like. Yeah. Dan, oh, you know, yeah. like those shows were funny as hell, and, and even Punked, right? Was that Punked? Was Punked was after, after Jackass. Yeah, oh, I don't know. Don't yeah. ask me about that. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. But no, but seriously, those though, the shows, Tom Green show. Yeah. I remember watching that, just going, what, "How? How is this even on TV? It's <laughs> yeah. crazy." I loved it, but I was just like, so "How did they get away with this?" Yeah. And you know, I just mentioned him, uh, Trip Taylor. Yeah, that's where his background. He worked with Tom Green. Oh, okay, yeah. So that's so. You know, yeah, and then that's how he got in the mix. Yeah, a lot of the stuff he did was along the lines of Jackass, I'd say for sure. Yeah. yeah. No, I know, and, it, and it's it's super funny, and and I think um, you know, and he's he's always doing like he's got like stand up shows, and he's got like that internet show, and all those yeah. things, and super funny stuff. But um, but yeah, I I always laugh about it because I feel like you know he he was definitely he paved the way. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Seriously. Yeah. <laughs> but uh yeah, so all right. So yeah. So let's talk about some uh some some craziness on the road with the jackass boys. <laughs> I think yeah, there's plenty of that. Chris, uh, Chris touched a little bit on some things, but uh, but when you got you guys are uh, kind of doing those tours a little bit and yeah. Uh, speaking of Chris touching on things, did he tell you about when he like I was I was asleep in the back of this RV with no shocks. It was like boom, you hit a pothole. Fuck. Yeah. So I finally got some sleep. I'm like zonked out, and then I wake up to like somebody spooning me, and they've got a boner. <laughs> it's a big boner. I'm like, what the fuck? And I look at his Chris, and he's like naked. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, spoon, I'm fully clothed and he's new just fucking got me <laughs> that was a crazy awakening oh my god <laughs> he just smelled the dip on his breath Ew. which reminds me actually that's another story I have to tell you is that it, was, it wasn't on our, one of our tour things but it was we were filming Jackass the, I don't know which one I don't even think actually made the cut but it was Seattle skimboarding so we were going yeah. between Seattle and Portland we'd stopped and had a few beers and I, I woke up on a, on a bench seat of a 15 passenger van having to piss really bad. So I fished around on the ground. I found a water bottle 
and like I, I started to piss in it and I, I I'm laying down though and I started to fall back asleep and I actually poured the water and I'm like, oh shit, I'm all fucking wet now. And then it smells all minty. I'm like, <laughs> no. And I flick on the light, it's fucking Chris's dip spittoon. <laughs> With yucky. piss in it and No, 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 I hadn't I don't well, I might have had a little bit of my piss, but I wouldn't have minded that. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, the yeah. problem was is his his spit and his dip yeah. spit, and we still had two hours to drive. I just had it all <laughs> over my crotch. It's all over my dick and ball. Ball. <laughs> it's fun to say dick and ball instead and of ball. Yes. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. it throws you off a little yeah. bit. Wait, don't you mean, oh, no, he... It's all you need, man. Yes. <laughs> Streamlined. Yes. <laughs> yeah, so there's that story. That was yeah, and, and I love how quickly you went into that from the boner one, because I'm still back there. We don't have to talk about that. I think we covered that. <laughs> Nothing happened after that. We just, like, went our separate ways. <laughs> Because I, I I wonder like I don't did, I, I did actually you just, made did a block just, I don't know what happened after no. I really honestly can't tell you what happened I think we almost had a deer yeah yes <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, near near death experience and then moving on I just remember it was pouring rain there's no shocks in the van and Fred our driver just slammed on the brakes and we're just like skidding sideways and and Preston yells at the top of his, of his lungs he just goes don't kill us over a deer and then fucking <laughs> slid back stri- like the, the Fucking deer was doing the Scooby Doo fucking run in place thing, and it was like running <laughs> in place. Yeah. Just no grip, and, and he's looking at us, and then somehow you we, missed it. Yeah, we yeah. went our separate ways, just like me and Chris. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just like. Just like. It. I'm just trying to think. I know, we're not going anywhere yet. We're staying right there. Uh, I'm just trying to think. Was he back behind you working up a boner? Like, like I said, I came, <laughs> I came to. <laughs> no, I didn't come also. He slipped I mean, a I couple pills too, like, in your drink and then. <laughs> he has done that. He did that to me once in, in fucking London. I was acting. I was, uh, you know, Darf is that guy who took over. I had this person that takes over when I drink. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, yes, it's yes. Not I me. I'm not responsible that. for anything the guy <laughs> yeah, does. His right, name is right, Darf. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't like him. He doesn't like me. Yeah. So Darf was out and like, I don't know. I don't know what problems i was causing but um anyways we're at this bar that was like part of the hotel and i guess he put i think he put xanax in my drink mm-hmm. and i never had it or anything and like i just didn't know what was wrong with me so he told me it was time to go to oops it was time to go to bed so i went into my hotel room i guess and then i just broke everything the tv super expensive tv and all kicked holes in the wall like just went nuts yeah like, you're not supposed to do that on xanax right yeah i don't know, I don't know. that was usually my your legs like you lose your legs then that guy what's his name max something i think that runs the gumball rally Who's yeah max? so he had a, a ferrari idling out in the like in front of the lobby so i ran out and tried to steal it <laughs> oh, actually it wasn't shit. running it was just like i guess all i was one button away i couldn't figure out how to start it so he finally came and he's like can i help you mate and i'm like ah <laughs> I was gonna steal his car. I probably crashed into a tree or something. I don't know. What yeah, I was doing, but... hopped up on Xanax. And... Yeah, hopped up on Xanax. I, don't know, I still don't understand that. I don't, maybe down. he gave me something different. And said it was Xanax. I don't know, but he was said he, he had my best interests in mind. Oh man, yeah. Th- there was a time like that. One of the uh, jackass like premiere party things um, early on. I mean, I was wild and drinking and doing all that shit anyway. But I remember, and I don't know who specifically did it, but I looked over like. I'm sitting there and I was drinking and then I was like, huh, I feel kind of funny. Like, and I was like, I, ah, like, I think I'm on ecstasy or something. Like, cause wow. I didn't know, like I had done it a bunch, but I was like, I didn't take any, like how the fuck, but I'm on it. Like, and then I looked over and I saw like Knoxville and them like, <laughs> oh, and I was wow. like, Oh fuck! This I one's think... on us. <laughs> yeah. So somebody put it in a tree. They looked over you like when someone buys you a round of drinks. Yeah. You're like, thank you. <laughs> exactly. This one's on us. Like, yeah, dude. I was fucking like, oh my god. I think I'm just high on ecstasy right now. And it, but it was a fun ass night. Yeah, it worked out. Yeah, right? yeah. And no, and I enjoyed that. I was, I was actually big into it. I did. I didn't wonder how they knew. Yeah. Just to mm. slip some of that in. Yeah. You know? I knew, but, would like to... but yeah, it's such a weird thing though when, oh, when, when it happens and on, then yeah. you're like, wait, I'm feeling something. De- this is not just the alcohol. Something's taken. Yeah. I don't, yeah. I don't like being on a drug I don't know I'm on. I did that once with acid once. Yeah. I, I, oh. I was drunk. Oof. That's in a Las commitment. Vegas at a snowboard trade show way before Jackass. And I, I see my friends passing this cup around at, at the bar and I'm like, I'm going to just grab there and, and grab it and drink the whole thing. So I, between two of them when they're passing it, I grab it and guzzle it and and they're like what the hell and, and I run off I don't even know what it was about a half hour later I'm not drunk I'm sober I'm like what I'm dead sober <laughs> then I started having crazy thoughts and like yeah. I remember I thought 
I thought I had killed all these children. <laughs> oh, shit. I just got back from a snowboard trip in Chile, and there's all these, like, homeless kids, and we were, like, trying to help them out and stuff, but they had, like, glue marks where they just sniff glue all day. Yeah. And then, I guess, in my mind, I thought I'd kill them all. Like, I really did. And I was Jesus. like, oh, no. Oh, no. I kill all these kids. And then this girl comes up to me, and she's like, do you know you just drank, like, 12 hits of liquid acid? Ooh. I'm like... Oh no! So then I'm like, I'm gonna run home, and I was living in California at the time, and we're in Las Vegas. So I'm like, I, the, the sun started rising. I'm like, run, 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 running at the sun, and ran out of the strip area, and then ran into like the neighborhoods. And people were like bringing their kids to school, and there's like school buses. And I'm on acid, just running and running and running, following the sun. You know, gonna run to California, and then I realized I'm like, oh, the sun rises to the east. I'm, I'm going God. farther into this fucking place. <laughs> So oh man! Take a cab back to uh, Vegas. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I don't know if you were to run to California. That's uh, yeah. that's it's a pretty lofty like goal. Best idea, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> dude. Yes, uh, unwanted drug use. That's. Yeah. <laughs> Mm-hmm. I mean, I did I did a lot of, of wanted drug use, but yes, when it's a surprise, yeah. it's, it's fun. It <laughs> catches you by the boo boo. Especially acid too. I mean, ecstasy is like a long run too. You know, like yeah. if somebody like accidentally put a little coke in your thing, you're like, ah, it's over in ten up. minutes. Oh, yeah, they <laughs> get in there. But uh, but yeah, whoops. <laughs> I don't like cocaine. I just like the way it smells. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't actually don't like the way it smells. Yeah, this yeah. gives me diarrhea right away. Yeah. Wait, let me tell a quick story about that. Yes. I, I never, I've never had an urge to take any, to use cocaine or anything. And then I had, uh, I had this stripper roommate. It was her and her brother. They're from New York, and we were at, at uh, Lake Tahoe at Squaw Valley. We had this apartment, and then uh, so one day it was her and her friend. They were both really hot, and they're like, "Do you want to do some cocaine?" And I'm like, "I think I'm gonna have a threesome right now. Sure, yeah. I'll do whatever." <laughs> so like, I try some, and then they're like looking at me they're like what's wrong and and i'm like what do you mean and there was something wrong but I, i'm like how do they know and i had to take a horrible shit you know yeah. <laughs> that's not sexy and then I'm, they're like you have to take a big shit don't you i'm like yeah i do how do you know and they're like because they cut that stuff with baby laxative i'm like what and that's what they told me i don't know if that's true or whatever but i ran to the bathroom and it was a little apartment and just the whole place smelled like shit and they oh. were just belly laughing away and there's no threesome <laughs> no twosome not even a onesome there's, there's you know, nothing yeah. It's me with like all. <laughs> I was like, why? I don't get that. You yeah. just can't stop talking. You do weird things with your mouth and grind. Yeah. Your- and you're probably not going to get a boner. Like, the no. chances of it are pretty slim. So, like, the whole sexy thing is out the yeah. window. Yes. I don't know. It works for girls, I think, but guys not. And, and that girls just. Girls don't get boners. Yeah. Oh, they don't? Oh, wait. Oh, shit. Do they? I got some the explaining. It's just a to little do. wiener, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Basically. And the lips are just the nutsack that has. Yeah, no, they have the nuts in the inside. I think it's inside. That's why my wife. She's like, I get the same thing you have, but it's inside out. No. Okay. (laughs) Yeah. So that's that's all it (laughs) is. It's just turn it inside out. Yeah. Yeah. I thought about a shit story from cocaine. The one time I was at a bar and and I did some, and then like. Then there, there was only one bathroom. It was 15 North. It was in Westchester. There's a bathroom there, and it was just, like, lots of people in the line. And I'm like, I'm, I'm not going to fucking make it. Like, th- this shit is coming out. So then I just went outside and, like, shit in this bush. Like, And I, and I remember people were, like, walking by, like, looking at me, like, in the eyes. I'm, they're like, what the fuck is he doing? And he's like, hey. Uh, you know, and it's just like, like full blown just explosion and just wiping your ass with socks. I, that was always the oh, thing. Oh yeah, that, socks are the yeah. go to. Oh, it's nice. It's you actually. Well, socks were good if you're on a road trip and you're whacking off and you just mm. use the sock and all the it doesn't make a mess or nothing. Yeah, <laughs> socks are great. Yeah, sock. Yeah, so many different thing. uses. Yeah. Yes. Did mm-hmm. I interrupt your story? Is there more? No. That's it. Oh, that no. good. I was in the bathroom <laughs> was once in San Diego. It was like one of those trade shows down in San Diego. They have and I was all drunk and. Darf was in control, and I went to the bathroom, and I started breaking everything. I was, like, in the stall. I had all the, like, toilet paper – or the toilet seat covers over my neck, and, like, <laughs> I can kick the toilet off the thing, and the, and the bouncer comes in, and he's – I'm, like, I'm busted. And he's, like, oh, so he busted the door open in the stall. And I'm, like, what's up? And he's, like, oh, sorry, man. I thought you were doing coke in here. And then he left. <laughs> and I wasn't in trouble. I really – I, like, I went back later and <laughs> he's thought about like... it. No, I think he was hoping to bust me for coke, and then he would take the coke, and he'd have coke. Yeah, right? yeah, definitely. But he didn't care about the bathroom being – trash but instead darf's in there with yeah. like shit covers on your yeah. face Which, like, wait now i thought of another shit story happening? this is no drugs at all though uh, like my wife she she's from washington so we were up there visiting her family and we're driving 
And I'm like, I, we ate with her family and ate something that didn't just like, I got like food poisoning or something. I'm like, I have to shit right now. She's like, well, there's not much around here. There's a little bar right here. I'm like, take me there. Take me there. We go. It's called the jet. <laughs> if you guys see this from the jet, I'm sorry. <laughs> but so I get there and there's like a line to get in. I'm like, ah, I got to go in. I got to go in. Can I have cuss? Can I go have cuss? And they're like, people are like, fine, whatever. And, and I go to the front and they're like, see some ID? Oh my God. Here you go. Here you go. And they're like, it's $10 cover. I'm like, I don't have any money. I just got to use your bathroom, man, please. And the guy's like, he's super nice. He's like, okay, okay, just go in there and, and i had one of those things you know i couldn't make it all the way and i was like whipping my pants off as the shit was flying out and like it was shot across the floor and then across the, the top of the toilet and just everywhere just spray like shotgun yeah. Yeah. diarrhea and uh, i felt so bad and like you know like you barely clean myself up and i go out of there like thank you <laughs> Yeah, Wait, so there bar. was just sh- you left everywhere. The shit, it was like right? yeah. crazy. Yeah. Like I couldn't even. I, I was ashamed of myself. I look back. I'm like, wow. It looks like I did it on purpose, and I did not at all. Like full <laughs> shotgun blast of diarrhea. Like six <laughs> of them, just <laughs> blah, blah. like like I'd lose my like I was trying to hover over the thing, and I was like shaky leg from it. it was, yeah. so I would miss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I, it was like there was like recoil. <laughs> Dude, it's so good. I like that the bar's called the jet. It was like that's yeah, what I was doing, yeah, yeah. jetting it out. Yeah. So now when we go back and visit, we always like, oh, there's the jet. There We're not is. going there. <laughs> Dude, like I, I love the all of the like aspects of that story is like your sweet wife is like out in the car, like, hmm, you wonder how he's doing in there. And like yeah. they're trying to card you and then oh, charge God. you money to take the shit. Like, like you're like just out of the fucking way. I was just <laughs> squirming, dude. Just squirming. Just like, yeah. I'll just use my whole wallet. Just leave me alone. <laughs> It's so so good. Yeah. And they have no idea that your asshole is just holding on for dear <laughs> Clenched, life. Yeah. <laughs> There's just a fucking river of shit like ready to pour out. That's you know what I'd say more than I'm uh, a lot of people think I'm able to shit on demand. Yeah. It's or command demand whatever. Yeah. I'm some man. I command you and demand you. But it's more than I'm just always trying not to shit. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like go. Yeah. And they're like I just let that ball loose. I'm Dude. always locked and loaded. Like, yeah. Right now. I'm like, oh, you got, I can definitely, <laughs> that's, that's what happened with the running shit was oh, that like, cause I took, I took all those x I oh, ate yeah, the entire <laughs> box and then everyone's like I staring at me. I watched stand-up thing about yeah, it. Yeah. It's so funny. Yeah. yeah. They're like, they're staring like, do you got a shit? And it's like, I don't know. Like, and I don't know what's happening. <laughs> I and, don't know. Do you, <laughs> shit? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's like just the tiniest bit of coffee and then it was like oh no like there, i couldn't hold it in and you just had to like it's like as soon as i let go it's gonna go and and like just oh, full explosion <laughs> shit god damn do you ever have it where it's like you feel like you're gonna have horrible diarrhea and then you go in there and you can barely go and then finally just a nice solid one comes out and you're like wow that was bad and you realize it was just the cork holding everything else back <laughs> yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is, and it's totally confusing because you're expecting like, you know, it feels like a runny diarrhea shit's coming. Yeah, and, then and it's, <laughs> it's just like cork. Yeah, it's just like punk, and then <laughs> the floodgates open. <laughs> oh, dude, yeah. you know, that reminds me of another one. I got a call a couple years ago, like I don't know, 2016 or 17, and it was um, Tremaine is like, "Can you get down to LA right now? We, we, someone dropped out. We need to film this." They, they made he's I don't know if he's still making it. It's called Swerved. Have you heard of that? Yeah. It's like uh, WWE e or F or whatever. Yeah. But it's, uh, you know, jackass style things yeah. and stuff. So I get down there and there's this midget wrestler named Hornswoggle. That's yeah. such a good name. Yeah. <laughs> Hornswoggle. <laughs> and we're going to have a, a, like a, what do they call those things? Um, ghost pepper eating challenge. So they, we had this, I forgot what it's called. It was this like famous burger joint. And I, I, I had a vegetarian one. But anyway, so they made this like, they, made the sauce of ghost peppers and then plus raw ghost peppers. I'm like, yeah. I didn't even really know about how all hot peppers worked. So we eat it and it was like, you, know, you could feel it like burning uh-huh. where it got around your mouth and you know, down your mouth. Obviously they had buttermilk and shit afterwards. And you know, it was, it would tear it up and like maybe sneeze a bunch. It was crazy. And then, uh, I remember, cause like I, I always have a sore neck and shit. And afterwards, I was driving home, like I could look to change lanes, no problem. Like took all the inflammation down. Like this is a good thing until I woke up the next morning. I'm like, I gotta take a shit. I start shitting and it's just like I'm just like wiping every like as the shit's coming out I'm like wiping because it's burning so bad and I'm like that was horrible I'm like crying from the fucking my butthole rings burning so bad but then I had to take a piss 
And then my, I start pissing. It's fucking burning hot piss. Uh, I'm like, no, 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 no. <laughs> like way too hot for my dick hole. Like, ah. So I call that dude Hornswoggle. I'm like, hey, man, my dick, my fucking dick's burning like crazy from the piss. And I was yours. He's like, yeah, same here, man. I feel like I got chlamydia again. <laughs> again. <laughs> so awesome, dude. Oh, God damn. Yeah. So it just goes everywhere. Yeah. Like, fuck. That hot piss, you don't want too hot a piss. It's uh, crazy. Oh, uh, crazy yeah. hot piss. <laughs> again. Yeah. Let me me just put that out there. But man, that reminded me of one where uh, I went and did this like um, hissing cockroach, like eating contest thing. Live? Yeah, they were like alive and they were like these big cockroach things. And so like I ate them. You just put the whole thing in your mouth? Yeah, like you bite into it and it's just like the pus explodes in your mouth. Pus? Yeah. They're full of pus. (laughs) It's like for something, (laughs) whatever the hell it is, it was sick. It tasted so fucking gross. Like you put it in and it just explodes in your mouth and then it's like and i'm like swallowing it and like all of that like it, it was like if it, it was like a pus like it felt like a like the, Pop something yeah like the inside of a pimple was just all that goo was just in your mouth and uh and i swallowed and i ate them and then like the things over and i won because i ate like the most of them and i was like oh, okay cool and so then i'm driving home and like as i'm driving home i'm like oh god like i don't feel fucking right like oh like everything feels so gross and so I like didn't know and it hit me like out of fucking nowhere and I just had to like skid off the side of the turnpike and just go right there and I just double dragon puked and then shit out of the both sides. Like wow. I was like Hah! like over the railing like Hah! and then I was like holding on to the railing to lean back the shit at the same time and then and I like I just had all these like napkins in my uh thing so I had to like wipe my ass and wiping this and I just like <laughs> wipe your ass and wipe your face. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just to get the rest of it out. Yeah. <laughs> and it was just like both like coming out of both ends from that like pus shit from the from the hissing cockroach thing. Why would they be full of pus? I don't know, but it totally fucked up my whole stomach. Did, like claws come out your butt? And yeah. Stuff? <laughs> yeah. No, it was just like water, really like wow. brown water spraying out of my ass. But I don't know. I don't think I wouldn't do it. It just didn't it make you want to puke when you're eating them? Yeah. Did like you, the whole time you felt like you're going to, but you had to keep it down in order to win. It seems like it would like get caught in your throat. It was, like, yeah, it was, it was the it was, like, it was the like worst. Pokey. <laughs> yeah, it was it was very stupid. It was like yeah. um, one of those. Maybe they like, were cum filled. Yeah, you know that what? That makes more sense than pus. <laughs> yeah, I think that's what it was. And but it's weird that I would have an adverse reaction to cum in my yeah. stomach. I mean, it wouldn't be the first. Usually, time. I just get it pumped out. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. The hospital. Mm-hmm. It just naturally. Uh, yeah. I, out I know, of, weird you know, just pull over side of the road shit so i don't know man yeah me and you we got something we got a problem <laughs> something Our going on sometimes work out for it yeah i know yeah. we probably have some like uh whatever that what is that uh crohn's disease or bowel movement thing oh god something. we have a bowel movement <laughs> yeah, thing. yeah yeah we probably yeah. have something like that but but hey, why would you get that fixed? That'll that'll what, ruin our. Fix it? I don't think they can fix it. <laughs> yeah, that'll ruin any chance of uh, of any career. <laughs> yeah, I haven't been, been paid to take a shit in almost a decade. Damn. So pretty backed up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you've got a lot that you've been uh, storing in the chicken oh, coop yeah. outside. I think it's actually your shit. That's what I was. Oh yeah, that's why them. I got chickens. I'm like, ah, oh, them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The chickens, they stink. Nasty. Yeah, it's uh, crazy. The, the chicken shit. Like if you're holding one and one shits on you, it's so stinky. It's crazy. <laughs> it's stinkier than I think human shit. It's the worst shit. Really? You know what's the worst worst shit? You don't know, do you? Mm. I do. Mm. A snake shit. Oh. I used to have this. I had a king snake, California king snake, black and white banded one, and it yeah. was really cool. And I'd I'd like get all stoned and like hold the snake and like. I remember I'd be all relaxed and all of a sudden you smell the smell. It's just like it's like a dead animal because like it's part of their defense mechanism too. It's like and also they eat dead animals, but yeah, it, it just smells like a rotting dead animal. And like I remember just like I'd have it like all over my stomach and stuff. And <laughs> I was driving once with it and it, it like this isn't a shit story though. Just to make sure you're not ready for one, but it, <laughs> I'm driving and I had the snake. I had, I had it like a at a pocket and I had him. I jammed some whatever would fit and then the rest of him was looking around. And I'm driving and he like went through the steering wheel in a way that I couldn't make a turn. And I had to stop uh, in the middle of the road and like pull him out of the steering wheel. <laughs> know, yeah, that's sure crazy. Knew. My cat ripped him out of his cage once. And they got in a big fight. Damn. Yeah. Could it eat the cat? He could constrict it, you know. But the oh. he ended up. They just, you know, I wasn't there. I just saw the aftermath. But he he was missing for a week. I thought yeah. he might be dead, but I don't know. He had a little cl- couple claw marks in him. He was under a dresser. <sighs> it was all yeah. right. 
That's always sketchy when right. like uh, when a snake gets out of the cage and then people are like, oh, he's somewhere around here. You're like, somewhere. what? Yeah, it's kind of weird. <laughs> yeah, no one else. My roommates didn't like it. They're just like, what? Somewhere in here? Yeah, dude. I mean. I, I know Bam was always the most afraid of snakes. Oh God! And uh, I, th- I always felt bad for him when they would. <laughs> he's I like rarely crying. Felt bad for Bam ever. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. Like, yeah. You know, I'm like he has a legitimate phobia here. Yeah. You can't, be, you can't fuck with that. Yeah. But you gotta fuck with it. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, but it's funny because I I I was always like yeah, I'm pretty cool with them I think and then I did this thing with a friend uh, like a couple weeks ago they had this critter squad thing that uh, like they save like abandoned like reptiles and things like that and that's what they do so they were like kind of showing me through and they show like they bring in this little snake and it was like oh cool and then they come in with this fucking enormous and I was like oh and like I was like oh I didn't even realize I'm afraid of these things but yeah. I am you know because just the, the 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 ability to constrict like that and when Dude, it's that they, big yeah. like it'll fuck you up yeah but uh yeah no it's it's we it's, did that anaconda I actually was standing on the outside of the anaconda pit ball pit yeah and like what I saw the things is you know from the back of his head right like that like it's really big is yeah it's, you know when it's, it's like that that big when he'd take a bite and I, when I saw him open his mouth, I'm like, fuck that. <laughs> yeah. Fuck that a million times over. Yeah. And, then, and then, you know, it, it bit Knoxville in the arms, and it went so deep, and they were so razor sharp that he was just gushing blood out of his oh, arms. Man. So much blood. Just <laughs> super terrifying. And, and, like, there was another one in, like, a storage container behind us, and we – I can't remember who it was. One of us tripped over it and fell over, and the lid came off, and it started jamming out. And it's like it's like this big around. Fuck it's that. Fucked up. Yeah, yeah, that's shit's insane. Well, I love that because it's like it's like shown that Bam's afraid of it, but like everyone else is freaked the fuck out too. Yeah. It's just he happened to be more so. Well, he told me that, or, or I don't, I don't remember where, if he told me if, I, if he did something or he explained it or something. But he said he was going through a little tunnel under a, a road or something, like a little crawl. Oh. when he was a kid and he came face to face with a snake and he couldn't you know, couldn't get away and there's the snake and he couldn't back up and like finally he Damn. was able to you know just scarred him yeah so that's it from, yeah. from then on out he's that's just freaked I, the I'm fuck sure out that's the story yeah yeah no nah, it makes sense how about he's a dad now isn't that crazy I know. what <laughs> little phoenix wolf yeah, yeah. no that kid's awesome. rad man he's yeah. super happy little little cute little dude yeah. Um, yeah, I went over and, and hung out and, uh, and did, did an episode with him and, awesome. and that was cool to meet that. Yeah. So, uh, to meet that, <laughs> yeah, meet that. <laughs> I met that, <laughs> I met that thing. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Like yeah. when there's unborn babies and they call it it. Or yeah. Some people call regular babies it. Also. Yeah. It. <laughs> yeah. Kind of weird. It. Well, in this day and age, it's probably more safe to say that or it. Than I, to I went say. to the doctor recently and like the, and is it usually you know, like male or female? Yeah. And it was like male, female transitioning. Like there's like six options there, and then, like, what do you want to be addressed as? He, he, him, you know, whatever. I can even yeah. Things are she, her, man, and then or or, or they. You had like a bunch of choices, and there was more. It just kept going on and on and on, and like, are you transitioning from this to this to this? And it's just like, just you know, like, I don't know. Just, wow. I'm just <laughs> whatever like, doesn't offend anybody. And I just, you know, it's just so tempting. Like, I want to, I want to drink yeah, this weird yeah, one. Over yeah, yeah, yeah. Weird. Nothing's weird. They're all normal. It's just yeah, normal. Yeah, yeah. People. I don't know. Yeah. Well, but, and that's what I mean. Like, yeah. What? I, I don't know. I don't know. Whatever, whatever it is. I don't know. <laughs> whatever you like to do. I don't care. <laughs> yeah. That's, <laughs> and that's why it's so funny because that's where I'm at. It's like, I couldn't give a shit less what anybody, oh, yeah. like, whatever. And, yeah. I, and that's what's always strange, too, is why people have an opinion. What is it? Uh, I always hear that one. Oh, my little child's gonna go into the girl's bathroom, and there's gonna be a big husky dude saying he's a chick, and yeah. they're gonna rape my kid. That dude's <laughs> already in there, <laughs> you know. Yeah, and it's if not he somebody in there. He's gonna yeah. go in there, dude. <laughs> yeah, he's yeah. like, a scary guy. Or yeah. I don't know, oh, uh, it I says ladies only. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> better not go in there and rape anybody. Yeah, yeah that'll stop. Him. <laughs> <laughs> I don't yeah. know what the heck. Yeah. I, I just think, yeah, you should be able to do whatever you want as long as you're not hurting anybody. Yeah. Yeah. Well, right. Unless no. they like to be hurt. <laughs> yeah. 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 And then, and then you should, there should be a sign for that. <laughs> uh huh. What would it look like? That sign of you like to be, I like to be hurt. Yeah. Well, this room right here feels like oh, kind of a lot one of, of those hurt rooms. has gone down in here. <laughs> yeah. I just, yeah, I could you totally. You'll be hurt by the time we leave. <laughs> yes. Right. You won't really, I'll leave. Well, you. I noticed that it's locked that I can't get out. Yeah, that's so. why you're watching you try. And <laughs> you thought I was joking about not being able to get out. But yes. this is it for us. We're in the torture chamber yeah. of Dave England. Hmm. Hmm. I'll do the tapes or whatever these things are. 
memory cards. <laughs> just erase memory them. sticks. <laughs> so much bullshit now. I have like I have like old tapes, like I have VHS tapes with you know home footage on it. Then I have hi eight tapes. Then I have mini DV and then mini <laughs> HD V and then little fucking cards and then hard drives. It's just fucking what the hell? I know. And then it's so all much. this shit like the yeah the reel to reel reel to reel. Just so many. I, I, what am I supposed to do, Chris? Grab <laughs> himself, <laughs> dude. I don't Mr. know, but uh, but I always get jealous uh, of folks like you that that oh, save all this me. stuff. Like it's it's, called, hoarders. Yeah, you yeah, yeah, you're yeah, jealous yeah, of hoarders. Yeah, huh? I am. Wow. <laughs> because I I cleared everything out and then when I look I'm back, jealous of you. I'm like. Huh, I kind of wish I had that. Kind of is the key word <laughs> yeah. there. I kind of wish I still had that. I have it. I'm like, I can't throw this away. I try and it's like glued to my hand. I'm like, yeah. Uh. yeah. Well, I noticed because you have an original copy of the CKY, the first uh, VHS. Right, right there. Yeah. Oh. Land speed. That's the camera right there. Yeah. Dude. Brandon I know. And Camilio getting slapped. Mm. Like, bam. <laughs> Look at that slap. <laughs> <laughs> dude it's so good like that's the original that's yeah, it i've had this since it very first came out dude that's Just so like good. i have all the rest of my stuff since it very first came out. <laughs> yeah <laughs> dude it's so good like and that's where that that kind of stuff where i'm like man i wish i had a copy of that but oh, I don't, you don't have one no i don't have oh, any of that shit have to give that to you no 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 you should keep it because you'll keep it i'll oh, actually I'll probably oh, yeah. like hand it off like, to pull all the <laughs> tape out and go <laughs> <laughs> fun yeah. i remember seeing all you guys doing i was like these guys are so rad like but you were like way on the east coast i'm like i'll never meet them ever and, yeah. then, and then we'll next thing you know yeah. we're like mashed together and yeah and fuck now it's been 20 years dude it's, yeah, it's insane. coming right up on 20 yeah. years 19 yeah. or whatever the hell it's been but it's insane so uh yeah yeah mm-hmm. some silence for a yeah. little bit Let's awkward silence silent. or regular silence awkward silence uh, uh. is that a banana that you're eating it's so weird when you can hear everything in your own ears. You know, like, Hi. Mm. I liked my voice. Is that the DARF? I, no, I didn't <laughs> drink anything. Get this guy some alcohol. <laughs> Wait, are you one of those people that you're dead sober or alive yeah. sober? Or? Uh, live dead, dead. Dead. But you don't do any drugs? No, yeah. no weed, no beer, nothing. nothing? Nothing. Weed and beer, they're not real drugs, right? Mm. Depends on who you're asking. What about that butt candy you were talking about earlier? I'm curious. Because oh, there's nose candy. There should be butt candy. I kind of mm-hmm. made it up, but this should be a drug, I guess. Yeah, well, it's similar to like the butt chug stuff that Steve-O was always doing. Oh, dude, that was <laughs> always doing He's always doing <laughs> He's that. He's always doing it. Well, he did that with like the 20th story of a Miami high-rise hotel on the balcony. And you're like, you know, when that's happening, you're backed up all the way against the balcony. It was kind of a lower railing, and it's 20 stories high, and you're trying to get away from this butt chug action, but you're also you don't want to die <laughs> and then we did yeah. that and then we went into the into the hotel room and it was like the penthouse with all glass walls and we had the dizzy boxing so then we had to have people guarding the glass because you know oh. if we dizzy and break through a window you just fall to your death that reminds me of a story <laughs> before jackass when i i was uh i was working in the office next to to Tremaine and those dudes, they were doing Big Brother Skateboard Magazine. We were doing Blunt Magazine. And we had this joke because we were in the, in the LFP, Larry Flint Publications building. Yeah. And and so there's just a lot of sex toys and magazines. Everywhere. I wondered, was there just like nakedness? Dude, right or... when I first got a job there, I threw my back out because you, you know, give you as much free porn as you want. And back, then, you know, back then it was magazines. So I filled a duffel bag, not a rolling one. And I, I, I was living in Portland at the time. So you know, I flew down and I flew back up and I was going to bring all my bros, you know, like yeah. the porn. And I threw my back out because I was dragging that thing through the oh, airport, like this huge bag, that's oversized funny. bag of porn. I immediately thought you threw your back out from jacking off so hard Dude, because of, of all the One of those two. Yeah. But wait, this story. So we, we had this running joke where there's this one of those dildos with a suction cup on it, like a real big one. And we'd like hide it. Like you would suction a cup it under someone's desk and they'd, they'd pull themselves up to the desk and then the dick would be like touching their <laughs> dick. And so I did that to Jeff Tremaine and he was mad about it or, you know, he wanted to get me back. So he revenge and he comes running in our office and he bound off of a desk and he went to like attach it as high as he could on the window. It was like full of glass wall and he wham, he hit it in the hole, like flexed out oh, shit. and he didn't, you know, obviously didn't yeah. break. He didn't fall through and he fell back on the floor and it was stuck way up there. <laughs> and we were laughing how funny it'd be if he would have broke all the way through <laughs> and it landed in the middle of Los Angeles and Wilshire. <laughs> 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 Clutching a big old dildo. <laughs> 
<laughs> just dead with dick in hand. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, that was really funny. God damn that dude. That must have been so fun, like just in the offices of oh, yeah. like that. Because there's there's some level of like I'm in an office, so we're doing work and we're very serious. But then there's just the fucking insanity of what that company and your company yeah. was like. That there's a floor, yeah. you know, like different. There's so you know, it's a huge building. So this one floor it was like the porn floor, and you'd go up there, and then you had to go in this lady's office, and she was this older woman, really conservative looking, and then she there there's all the magazines like uh, in like a magazine rack at a store but you know only porn and then she would she was doing her business over here on her typewriter or whatever and then and then the thing was you couldn't take the last issue of anything so oh. if you would touch a last issue she would just know instantly <laughs> that, that's the last one <laughs> yeah. don't take it i wasn't i was just looking at it and she's like just knew out of the corner of her eye yeah and then uh this guy uh how was his name tim he ran in hustler they have this the, the, the beaver yeah. What do they call that? It's like the beaver. It was like the home. You, you like the, the people turn in their pictures of them naked. Oh, okay. Like, ah, beaver yeah. hunt. Beaver, beaver hunt. hunt. So he had this box. He was in charge of that article. He had a box called Bad Beaver. <laughs> it was all the rejects. <laughs> so I'd like, yeah, you know, like, I like trying to do my snowboard article. I'm like, this sucks. Like, I'm going to go see what Tim's up to. Oh, let me see you, the bad beaver. Just, oh, <laughs> like just the worst stuff you can imagine. Just horrible, horrible yeah. things. I won't even go into detail. God, please do. No, I, it's all blur. <laughs> but it was bad. Yeah. Beaver. Uh, wait, because so, um, so your magazine, like, was there, would you take some of that photos, like from the bad beaver and put it in there? I don't think we ever did that. I mean, they might have done that in Big Brother or something. I think yeah. there's, some, there's some, something I can remember. Something happened with the bad beaver. <laughs> and then, uh, and then, yeah, what else was there that was funny like that? Lots of lots of stuff like that would cross, you know, like, and the, the LFP people didn't like that. They're like, what are you doing? Just stick to the skateboarding and, and the snowboarding, you know? We're trying yeah. to sell magazines, and you guys are... Yeah. And the weirdest was that thing where, so the Big Brother magazine, it was, I think it was like Larry Flint's brother was in charge of the, in the mailroom, the subscriptions, and somehow he accidentally got the mailing list for all the Big Brother skateboard magazine mixed up with the mailing list for Taboo, which was the worst... <laughs> worst porno ever and then so i had a subscription to big brother and it came to my house you know it's just like so just imagine being a kid and you show up you know your house your mom's mad <laughs> why do you have this porn what sent to us oh no what and you don't even know yeah you, you can't make any connection i swear like, mama so they're getting busted and then all the the dudes that wanted taboo were getting the skateboard magazine yeah i love that i thought that was the end of everything yeah, yeah. and it just blew over no one got sued was nothing it. it was just like ah, sorry they said sorry i still have the apology sorry. letters right behind yeah. you i have the apology letter that's that awesome that. sorry yeah it sent a little apology Oops. letter we got you know, we made a boo-boo <laughs> dude that's so good god damn yeah I, I feel it's just such different times back then like you can get away with that and, like just a nice little yeah. sorry like that Not would be anymore, the end huh? of their world you know but uh but man I, I it was funny when you were saying the ladies typing because i i love the idea of like someone just taking it so seriously while someone else is just sticking dicks and buttholes and spraying cum all over oh, their faces and they're like well, yeah. no 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 hold on that's let me get serious and let's take care of it. like there's just some like soccer mom yeah. taking care of the, the porn bags everyone's numb yeah. to it it's yeah. like it's not happening you go in there and if you didn't know that was, you know, like you just go to a few of the offices you'd be like, i don't know what they do here it's just normal stuff yeah. but it didn't seem weird it's just yeah it is what it is and they do it Man, it's crazy. Yeah, they had all kinds of magazines. They had like Hot Boat magazine, and like, I, that's the one that sticks out. Wait, what's a Hot Boat? It's like a boat magazine. I just love that they hot oh, it was boat a magazine. Boat. Oh, hot I boat. thought it was some weird sex oh, thing. <laughs> I'm into hot boating. If you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> sounds sounds kinky. There's definitely shit involved in hot boating. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they had like 15 different magazines in that building. Damn, of just whatever. Yeah. And they were mad. They, they wanted Blunt Snowboard Magazine to be a beginner snowboard magazine. They're like, can't you tell people how to like you know, do a turn and stuff like that? We're like, no, we want to be like Big Brother and do all the things yeah. that have nothing to do with what we're supposed to be doing. You yeah. Know? <laughs> Silly, dumb yeah. stuff. Tell people how to do yeah. a turn. Lean. Yeah. So we would make fake ones that were yeah. wrong and yeah. stuff. And they get mad. They find out. And yeah. They're mad at us. And Damn, stuff. that's fun, man. Yeah. You've had, you've had a fun fucking history of, of stuff and what led yeah. you to what's happening and so you kind of crossed over at that point and like just from going back and forth to each other's offices that's where you really got to know tremaine and it was like i i remember the very first big brother skateboard magazine came out in god 93 maybe or something 94 maybe yeah somewhere around then and i got it 
And I remember being so excited. I, I was living in Breckenridge, Colorado. It was a little town. It was like the off season, nothing to do. And I go to my friend's house and I saw it. And this guy named his name was Screw Loose Bruce. And he had a <laughs> shotgun and he'd like he was always yeah. shooting at people, getting them off their property and stuff. And I and I stole it. <laughs> stole his Big Brother magazine. And he'd yeah. already written someone's directions to their house on it. So it was like, you know, if anyone sees this magazine with this directions on the front. Tell me who's got it. I'm going to kill him. And this town's really small. <laughs> I'm like, oh, it's me. <laughs> I'm like, I'll help you find the guy, Bruce. It was me. I had it. And I was just looking at him. Like, I had to look at it in secret. I'm like, this is the best thing ever. These guys are geniuses. I, like, I want to meet them one day. And then so somehow someone, they came through town like a year later. And they're like, we, they needed a place to stay. I'm like, you stay here. Yeah. And they all came. And then I was so excited to especially meet Chris Pontius. And they're like, Chris is really sick. There's something wrong with him. Do you have a place, a room we can just go in? I'm like, yeah, this, this little office room we can go lay in. Yeah. It feels better. And then I would like peek in and there. He was in there for three days. I never saw him come out of the room once. I didn't <laughs> go to the bathroom. Dude. He was like, he didn't make a peep. Damn. He was so sick. And I was all sad. I didn't get to really meet him. Yeah. On trip. But that was when I, you know, I. I that's how you phone numbers yeah <laughs> and i put it in my organizer yeah yeah <laughs> organizer back those then yeah yeah before yeah. the internet and like phones and shit you just have let me get my organizer oh, here's my next. business card <laughs> you know what i'm talking about yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I've got all the calendar things yeah. and contacts and shit <laughs> so i put their names in there and then we kept in touch and then yeah dude hell yeah dude that's that's wow, yeah it's awesome so excited mm. <laughs> just thinking about chris in that room alone yeah. makes me want to slobber too are you okay in there mm -hmm. <laughs> i just went you want to eat soup <laughs> <laughs> it was like that. Homemade it was that soup. bad. It was just like, like, just, uh, like <laughs> some soup. Why is really... soup the thing? Why I is that know. what does I like it? it? Yeah, I'd like it, I but, know, you just, it's but when you're sick, thing, it's like easy, yeah. easy. Uh, just yeah. slurp it down. <laughs> the heat of it, I think, helps. I don't know. I really don't know. We should just eat some soup for the end right of now? this whole All right. show. <laughs> <laughs> mm, that was delicious have you seen the soup in like japan they make that it's like the ramen soup. i don't even know what's called the ramen soup it's like noodle soup but mm -hmm. and then they have these like decorative things in it that like i never knew what they were it's like like do you eat white it? and stuff yeah people are eating them and i'm like what is it one day i'm like what are these things it's, it's basically fish bologna colored different <laughs> colors like swirls and stuff if you ever see so that, bologna just is just like all ground the guts. It's yeah. like a hot dog sort of thing. Yeah. Like yeah, like so they just grind it all yeah, up. And, and they, they, it's like a little decoration they put on the top of the soup. Mm, fish bologna. Yeah. Mm. The, the guy was explaining it in broken English. I'm like, like bologna. He's like, oh yeah, yeah, bologna. <laughs> like a Japanese. Uh, yeah, that was great. <laughs> oh, that's hot. Yeah, bologna. <laughs> I love that they properly pronounce yeah, it. Bologna. Yeah, bologna. 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 Welcome to uh, bologna. That's a place, right? Is there a place somewhere? Sounds like a. There's like Frank. Frankfurt. That place, I've even been there. I still think it's funny. <laughs> you get a hot dog or something. Yeah. Frankfurt. <laughs> mm. Maybe it's not funny to anybody else. Fine. Sounds delicious to me. Mm. I'm still just tripping out listening to my ears. It's been all this time. I still think it's weird. <laughs> you think it's weird to hear your own voice right in your ears like this? We're, uh, hey, Dave, yeah. I got to tell you a secret. Sup, 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 sup. Not you. You just me. Oh, oh you can hear oh, me? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I can hear you. <laughs> Everybody can hear your secrets. But it's like you have the original radio gear right there. Yeah, in case we need it. <laughs> yeah. It comes, I'm like, I'm just going to throw it away, but I'm like, I, this might come in handy someday. So, <laughs> ah, dude, I seriously. That's like, the hoarder in my you. family. Like, the whole family's like that. Dude, I love it, though. I, I really do because this, this place is incredible because of it. Me? I don't have any. You know what I do still have, oddly? Well, what I, would I know? You should. <laughs> I have that director chair from Jackass that they gave like 20 years ago. That's like the only thing I ever kept. It says Jackass on one side and your name on the other? Yeah, yeah. I got that and immediately was like, even though I love to hoard stuff, I'm like, fuck this thing. I don't need this stupid chair. I'm going to make some money. I put it on eBay. Yeah, yeah. $24, dude. Nailed $24 it. $24 on eBay. It cost I, I fucked them over. Well, it cost me nothing. I got it for free. And I charged them $20 for shipping. And it only cost me like five or six bucks. <laughs> and so I made some money. Serious This other cash. time they gave us this thing. It was like a it was a wine cool. It was like a, this big box that cools wine. Oh, yeah. And it had the Jackass logo on the front. I'm like, what? What am I supposed to do with this? And then... <laughs> and then I, I'm like, I'll just put beer in there or whatever. And I plug it in, and it only went down to like 45 degrees. So I gave it to the Goodwill and took a picture of the guy, the Goodwill with it. I'm gonna post that picture. Soon. Oh so yeah, funny. that's what he's like, like. I guess. Yeah, he doesn't want it. <laughs> Dude, because I was just, that just made me think of this thing that gave us on Viva La Bam that was like, I, we were just so maybe entitled, but they they gave us like. I, know, I sound like a dick. I'm yeah, like sorry. they they gave us like. A steak. Like, yeah. And then, yeah, yeah, he yeah, totally did. Anyways, <laughs> quit interrupting. 
<laughs> we, we, we went. They gave us like a steak and then like a food. A, yeah, yeah, like 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 a Omaha steak or something. Oh, and I think I've seen those. But they they can yeah. ship them somehow. And then like around. a brand like with R H on it, like Rab himself on, for a, so we could like brand the steak Sear it into each of your or into your yeah. butt like i didn't know. yeah yeah like exactly i mean that would make more sense yeah but i didn't understand i was like what the fuck is this that like is a weird gift where did you get an omaha steak yeah. and why is that for us you know how come they don't go rotten I, i've seen those yeah for sale how does it work they don't doesn't it, like how do they, they just mail a steak here's your steak yeah. one time oh my god dude i did this too we're, before jackass like i said it was the office of the big brother office the jackass i mean that big brother office on one side the blunt snowboard magazine and then i was up in portland and i had to ship down some slides and stuff and they had their fedex number so i'm like oh i should send something else since i don't have to pay yeah. for it <laughs> what do i already have a bunch of shit so i shit right into one of those like you know like the one that wouldn't soak through send it down to the big brother office rick Cossack opened it. And he was so mad. He yeah. was talking to me for about a year. <laughs> Zip you know, that little yeah. thing is wrong. <laughs> like next, like like early 10 a.m. delivery, you know? Yeah. So have business delivery <laughs> mode or whatever we need, it's called. We need a nice morning wake yeah, up. Yeah, it was like fresh. Still. <laughs> There's Folgers in your cup. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, for like a year, he wouldn't talk to me. He's like, you're disgusting. Dude. It was just horrible what you did. <laughs> I love it because I feel like he's the easiest one to poke. You know, oh, like yeah. you could just poke him. I like, didn't know who was gonna yeah, poke. I'm yeah, like, yeah. I'm not who opens this? <laughs> but it's meant to be when Cossack oh, yeah. is the one that gets it. Like yeah. I feel like yes, hell Definitely. yeah, get him. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck, I love him, dude. Like I, I hang out with him all the time, and we go and yeah, we film awesome. stuff, and and I and I love Rick, and uh, but it, but it's the best. It's like you're gonna get a good reaction out of him, and and the universe wanted him to open your bag of shit. <laughs> it did. I'm thinking about the story right now in my head. I'm trying to. See if I can not screw it up. I think I have it right. Okay, so I don't know how many people know this about Rick. So his parents, like he was like born in this home in the Midwest, and I can't remember the exact location, but then his parents, when he was young, finally sold they sold the house. Wasn't it like John Wayne Gacy's John, house? John, it was, it, so yeah. he bought, he, their, his parents sold a house to John Wayne Gacy, and that's where he did all the horrible stuff. Fuck. At Rick Cossack's child at home. <laughs> Sorry, Rick. I know you don't want this information out there, but I don't know. Dude. I kind of got to do it. It's yeah. my duty. Yeah. That's it's kind of gnarly, insane. right? That's weird. Right? Yeah, like the dude that he, John Wayne Gacy is like the serial killer that painted the clowns. And, and yeah, my friend has a painting yeah. by him, and I'm like, how can you have that in your house? It's, yeah. it's the Seven Dwarfs crossing a bridge. A painting by John Wayne Gacy has it in his living room. <laughs> Jesus, I'm always like, Ugh. it's so oh, weird dude. because, and that's probably why people go around murdering everybody. You become famous. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's the it's easiest way sick. to fame. Just. <laughs> <laughs> just don't say I that. I think it was easy how he did it. <laughs> like a gun. <laughs> but, oh, so man. you've heard it here first, folks. Instead yeah. of shitting like Dave and I. <laughs> Shit while you kill. And you'll yeah, be yeah. double famous. Yeah, double yeah. famous. Yeah. You, uh, shit, you kill someone and you shit in their mouth and stuff it all. In there. I would never do anything like that, but it was a good idea. It's a great idea. There's actually a book about it right back there. Oh, there's a lot of books about it. <laughs> Shitting and killing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Stuffing shit in mouths. Oh, man, this is one of those things like, how are we going to talk about the next thing? It's like, there's no segue to really mm. go anywhere now. We're just screwed. Mm. We got to just stop, have another awkward silence, and then start all fresh again. <laughs> I stumble my words a lot. A lot of people think I'm drunk because I slur. I just am too lazy to open my mouth all the way and say the words. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not on nothing. I had one coffee earlier today. That's all I'm allowed, or I will shit my pants. <laughs> Honest to goodness. I love it. It's all you're allowed, and who makes the rules? Your I asshole. Have to. Yeah, my asshole makes the rules. Uh, yeah, it's just sometimes I'll break the rules, and I'm like, oh god, now I know Dude, why the rules are in place. I can't ever drink coffee. I, seriously, at all. I can't drink god, it at all. Doesn't that suck? I love coffee. I I love the smell of it, but I know if I drink it, I'm gonna Dude, shit. Just the smell. If I go into like a fucking Starbucks, just <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm not joking. Just instantly have to shit. Just straight to the little bathroom. Yeah, I always have. Thank God. Like I was saying earlier, the, I I ate 18 X and couldn't really and then well, yeah. the little bit of coffee made me shit <laughs> like I a think couple maybe sips the, the xx finally started working yeah. i hate to break the news to you bro <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't the coffee dude oh man that was yeah that was torture i used to drink like a whole pot of coffee and be fine but something happened as i got older mm. and i did get older <laughs> <laughs> fuck that dude fuck getting old that's another thing we talk about that what is up well, so uh, shitty they don't tell you about you this. know what's funny about i was thinking about it earlier the old thing so the way that i met tremaine in knoxville was like uh they liked young boys yeah and they saw my cute little hairless ass and they were like we need that yeah 
And so they, they came out to Westchester, Pennsylvania, and we were filming little bits for the, uh, for like the jackass pilot. And I just remember thinking like, cause I was confused as to what was happening. We had done the CKY videos and then MTV was interested in something and, and Tremaine was around, but I didn't know Tremaine, but I knew that he was a part of big brother and I never met Knoxville before. So when we got there, like, you know, it's like, Hey, this is PJ and Jeff. And I'm like, Oh, okay. And then uh. like, uh, and I'm over there like filming like a, like a shopping cart thing. And I dislocated my arm and whatever. And, and I just remember thinking like, who are these fucking old ass dudes like they hanging out? Thirty. They were thirty. <laughs> yeah, they were literally thirty because I was twenty. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If and they were twenty. They were about yeah, 30. and I just like these old ass fucking guys hanging out. I don't get it, you know. And like, meanwhile, yeah, like they were the dudes that were making the show, and it was this, and like you know, and they're not much older at all. But to me, I was like, God, oh, they're so yeah. fucking old. And then now, you know, I'm approaching forty, and and it's like. Hmm. I'm still, I feel really young right now. And I was like, damn, that was 20 years ago almost. And I thought 30 was so fucking old then. 30 is <laughs> yeah. so young. So young. Oh man, I'm yeah. 30. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, we're getting. I got months to go until 50. That's I, awesome. It's like, I never really care what age I am, but 50, fuck 50. Seriously, <laughs> fuck 50. No, it's, it's fucking good. No. I, don't I think like it's it. good. Something about it's like halfway to a hundred, and yeah, it's just like it's, it's old. There's no like you can't be like ah, fifty's not too old. It's fucking old, dude. You gotta, you gotta admit it. It's fucking. I mean, too it's old. good though. It's so different now. Uh, I feel like remember like fifty when we were like it's little like the kids. Spiral. Yeah, he you, spirals a little faster. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but fifty was always like some dude had like three hairs left and these old glasses. Yeah, and that's like, what I thought, and I'm like, Wait, and then I'm now sure that's about to happen to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like. You got yeah, anything? Uh, oh, so old. <laughs> yeah, I always <laughs> squint and if I can caught up with me real good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Starting to really approach that uh, the first jackass <laughs> when you were. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, they don't need to make up anymore for that the old, guy, old guy shit. Dude, so do you have anything planned for the uh, 50 birthday? Oh uh, no, <laughs> no, no. I mean, I said months, but still, like a lot of months, like like a hundred months, three hundred months away. Yeah, it's like ten months, I guess. Less than mm. ten months, so I, that's not. I got time to plan it. for that. There you go. Yeah. The big bash. I'm not really thinking of anything <laughs> like that. Yeah, I really think it would be cool though, because the year 2020—that's like a big round number. Yeah, and that'll be 20 years since you know we first started Jackass on the TV show, and then 10 years since we made the last movie, Jackass 3D. Yeah. So it's like a pretty monumental milestone. Yeah. Monumental milestone. Mm. That makes sense, I think. Anyways, I think something needs to go down with that. Yeah. I'm really hoping that someone either does it or maybe I'll try to do something. I don't know. Yeah, I know. I mean, I like, because uh, I talked about it a little bit with Chris, and then uh, I, I'm going to do one with uh, Tremaine, do a podcast. I know that, dude. Yeah. And uh, we'll have to, we'll have to try and pull it out of them at that point but i don't yeah i don't know what you part never of his know. body were you pulling right there like it was sort of like an intestine that was coming out of his asshole sort of like that oh, pink sock thing I, that reminds mm. me of a story <laughs> there you go right when i moved out of high school my friend got a house and a bunch of us rented rooms there and and we all had like kind of everyone got a pet i just had like a turtle but like other people had like dogs and cats and stuff and so this cat had eaten this. It was like a, I don't know, it was a little bit smaller. Shaka. Like, yeah, it was like Shaka. He ate a Shaka. It was like this cord. It was like this thick, a rope. Yeah. And it was hanging out. There was like a foot of rope hanging out this cat's ass. Yeah. And everyone, got, all the roommates gathered around. We're like, look at this. And then we, we yanked, one of the, somebody yanked it out of the cat's butt. And it was like two foot of rope, oh. just shit covered. And right when we pulled it out, it was on the ground where everyone steps back. Wow. The dog runs around the corner and the dog eats it. Oh. And then so like a day later, there. <laughs> <laughs> the rope was hanging out the, the dog's butt, and then so he yanked it out of there. And then one of my roommates, Glenn, just oh, oh he gobbled it up. Uh, and then we it out no, I, that's why I made it. But I swear, the dog did it. The cat did it. Then the dog did it. And it was just fucking funny. <laughs> that's amazing. Yeah, but pull it out just like that. That rope out of Tremaine. Yeah, like, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> and like that sick bastard, Glenn. Mm. I think it's just, don't tell anyone, but I think it's Johnny Knoxville stopping us from making like more jackass stuff. Oh. Also, we're kind of old. Mm. Speak for yourself. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm that young guy thinking about you yeah, wait, old what did guys. You say you are again? 30, <laughs> 39. Yeah, yeah. Still, yeah. Almost 39. 
Yeah. Oh, you even like advanced your age. You're yeah. 38. You're yeah. calling yourself 39. <laughs> it's so I still got a couple months. That. Yeah. You're like, oh, I'm, I'm basically 30. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I it's like when a like... kid's like, yeah, I'm, I'm like, I'm 10. I'm 10. 39. And three no, quarters. No, I'm almost 10. Yeah. That shit, <laughs> the three quarters. God. Yeah. Because uh, you, it's weird. Like you, because I think at times throughout your life, you have to go. Wait, fuck, how old am I? Oh, yeah, I'm there. I'm always like, oh, yeah. <laughs> and then I think in terms of, I guess I'm 39, and then you go, wait, but I guess I'm not. I'm I'm not there yet, but I'm already there. But, uh, yeah, so I'm really young. I'm actually the youngest. Yeah, I'm, like, up there. Uh, Preston's older than me by a few months, but so he's going to turn 50 in the spring here. But um, Ooh. Which remains the very oldest. He's, like, 73, I think. At now. least. But, um, yeah, then it's Preston, me, and then I think Knoxville – Maybe Chris and then Steve O and Aaron and then Yeah. Everyone I, else is very young. Well, yeah, and uh and like there's a Bam's ten year spread. 39. There's a ten year spread. Yeah. Or more than ten if he's thirty nine. There's he's no, thirty nine. It's a ten year, it's a ten year spread. Yeah, and I, him and I were the same grade and then I was a little younger and uh Brandon's in the middle there. Rake is older. He's five years older than me. So but he's five years younger yeah, than me. Yeah, then now the older you get it doesn't <laughs> seem like a big gap yeah. anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Mhm. Well, I want to do that. <laughs> Sounds good. Ooh. Oh, so, are you, is it depressing? <laughs> oh shit! I didn't even realize it. This it's is super just depressing. Really bombing me out. No. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> no, I wanted yeah, to we... meditate with you, and I want everyone else to meditate with us. Oh, we hold hands. Hmm. That's how it works. I, I can mean, feel it's a little like crazy. Mm, clammy, mm, a little clammy. There. I like the clamminess. All right, that's enough. I think I, I think I think we got to where we wanted to be. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, what do you think? Do you, what do you think the chances really are of another jackass movie? Oh, like thirty-seven percent chance. Hmm, thirty-seven. Yeah. That's like you know when people say it's thirty-seven percent gonna rain. It rains a little. It Sometimes. does? Oh, yeah. So do a little jackets. Yeah, just, just a little. Out and, <laughs> yeah, just yeah. a little bit. Of, all we really want to do is the string out of yeah, Tremaine's the, butt. And, yeah, then, and then someone gobbles it up. Yeah. And that's it. We're, we're done. Cut. <laughs> we'll get, we'll get right Aaron or whatever. To, uh, Aaron will eat it. Yeah, oh, he'll eat it. He loves that <laughs> loves shit. It. He'll slip it through where his tooth is missing. Yeah. <laughs> I knocked his tooth out twice. Isn't that crazy? Wait. It, all right. What happened there? Uh, I don't think you remember how I did it the second time. First time. <laughs> Wait, did Darth do it the second time? No, the second time I definitely did it. We we had a head-on collision on many motorcycles, oh, and yeah. my shoulder went into his mouth. Damn. Wait, uh, why can't I remember the first time? That's ruining the story. Uh-uh. <laughs> I'm drawing a huge blank. Well, I, I don't know. I swear I did it. I know that. <laughs> I think he swallowed it too, and he had to poop it out. Oh yeah. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> the second time he had it on his tongue. Wait, the first time was when you were filming? Like... We were filming both times. Okay. Yeah. And uh, it was like a couple years apart. And then is it the same one? Yeah, the same one. So it was a fake tooth, I guess, the second time. The second but... tooth got... No, and then, got... then how about that? he had that... Bam, take the tooth out with the Lamborghini. Oof. Because remember, yeah. Don Vito did it at first. Because yeah. he had a rotten tooth that needed to yeah. out by a Lamborghini. Ugh. And, but no, after he did that, I went on like a little one of those little tour things, you know, where you're live. Tooth tour? Yeah, it's a tooth what you're tour. About. You basically you bring the tooth fairy yeah. with you, and oh. you go around and you kind of, you know, shit it out in front of people. Was the Sandman there? Who puts the little boogers in your eyes? <laughs> uh huh. Uh -huh. What happened with that? Man, it used to be so cool. It's the Sandman. These are magic, and then yeah, yeah. Now they're just now eye boogers. Just gross. <laughs> but I, I, we were in like Cancun, like doing one of those MTV. Things. Enjoying the white sand and monkeys. Yes. Mm -hmm. And Don Vito's there with this broken face, like black and blue face from getting the tooth oh, ripped man. out. It fractured his face when the Lamborghini ripped his tooth out. And But I, I kept seeing him, and he's just rubbing cocaine all over his face. I think dentists give you that if yeah, you're having problems. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's like, very medical. Here's a little <laughs> sack of cocaine for that. He's rubbing it all over his face. Cork for your butthole. Yeah. You'll be fine. <laughs> and I'm thinking, what the fuck are you doing, dude? That you're supposed to snort it. And he's like, oh, no, my face is broken from the tooth. It has numbing out. properties. Yeah, so it's like, uh, maybe, you know, a little Novocaine, but he wanted... Something with just, cane that yeah, isn't cane. Cane. Yeah, like sugar cane or... Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, that's all I can think of. But that reminded me of something. I don't know what it was now. It was good, too. Yeah, it was great. Oh, well, no, the rest of that story. So then, so yeah, so they pulled out Don Vito's tooth, and, and that sounds horrible. Yeah. What happened to him? I don't think they mentioned any of that to Aaron. Yeah. So Aaron <laughs> comes to me for advice, and he's like, should I let them pull my tooth out? They want to pull it out. And I'm like, no, just say no. <laughs> Yeah. Say like, no, dude. That's yeah. bad. Your tooth's fine. It was like a good tooth. It wasn't oh, it wasn't tooth. the yeah, bad no, one. No, it was yeah. a good tooth. I'm like, you, you already like you don't need to be doing that. More teeth. He, he's like, oh, and he he decided to do it, and then he it cracked his skull too, the front of his face. Yeah, remember that's part of your skull. Right? Yeah. yeah, it broke that, and they had to do bone grafts and shit. And <laughs> that's I'm so like, you know, I had to be like, I told you so. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah <laughs> I love that it, that you go to each other for advice. Like, hmm. Uh, <laughs> It's like he goes. This is when he first said it. He, he's like, Jeff, you think maybe I could have some more money if I do it? And Jeff's like, What the fuck, dude? <laughs> fuck you! How dare you ask for more money? You yeah, fucking yeah, do it or you don't. Yeah, I'm okay. gonna have some more money. <laughs> yeah, well, sixty bucks. How's sixty yeah. bucks? Uh, <laughs> and then I, the way I heard it, too, well, especially I wasn't there, the they flew days. him out to do it, and they're like, "Get on a plane, go home. <laughs> yeah. Get out of here!" Literally, they just kicked him out of, of the East Coast. They're like, "And we're done with you." <laughs> really killing the vibe. That's a wrap on Aaron, everybody. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just clap him out onto the plane. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. So uh, yeah, man. It would be crazy to 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 uh, to do another. I I um I kind of wasn't involved as much. I did the first one. I did a little bit of a spot, and then the second. And yeah. Third. Why not? Um. <laughs> I uh, I I was uh, too cool. Yeah, too cool. <laughs> I knew it. You seem pretty cool. But I didn't think you were too cool. <laughs> Awesome, man. Yeah, really, really cool. No, it was just a weird spot in my life, I think, and things got dark, and I was, like, in drugs and alcohol and all that, and I just kind of needed to... Yeah, that makes sense. Figure shit out and uh, and went a separate way, but but it's been it was it's been awesome to kind of reconnect with everybody and and uh, you know and and, do and you're that. a whippersnapper still, so you mm. can be like a star, dude. <laughs> Fuck Johnny Knoxville, you can be our lead yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let us He's just take do the it over. Shit. Well, let's do the gross <laughs> stuff, and you do all the yeah. fucking horrendous. Uh huh. Ravi Knoxville's coming in. Yeah. And oh yeah, Knoxville. <laughs> that's am, got a ring to it. I'm Ravi Knoxville. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh man yeah so. get brandon back on there he's young too i know yeah. yeah and he's freaking funny whatever so that whole thing was so strange because i mean he was so and he still is i'm sure i've really seen anything of him but he was so funny yeah it's so good and then from what i hear he was basically like fuck mtv i don't want anything to do with that stupid network i don't yeah. want to do it yeah, That's it? That's I really? think I think kind of that, and then I don't know. It's hard to kind of talk for him. A lot of people just do it. Just talk to, uh... for him. <laughs> yeah, someone's got to do it. I just tried. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'll try again. Uh, I, I like a lot of people ask. Oh, get get Deco on the podcast, and and the thing is, like, he just has like a nice family life, and it's quiet, and I think he just digs it like that. You know, being away from all of it, and I I think though, realistically, that the business of everything kind of wrecks shit you know yeah, and that, yeah. and it's like depressing to talk about so they don't talk about it that much but it but it like it takes the fun away from shit and it like ruins just the 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 chemistry and the and just oh, yeah, the whole vibe right. of yeah. stuff like so i think that that kind of you know had some effect i know it certainly had effect on me but i think that had some effect on him too and it kind of just took away from like the spontaneity of what it was you yeah. know and and it, God, it was so fucking fun in the beginning, and then it became like, all right, well, Dave England is this guy, and then you know, it was my. He, you guys yeah. didn't want to do it because of me. It was you. I, it was I entirely had you. My suspicions. Yeah, and uh, God damn it. And now I'm here to tell you that this is all just a ruse. We're not actually filming any of it. That, you know, it's weird. Somehow <laughs> he that just didn't comes in me ever, and now I'm like, why didn't I think this could be a ruse? <laughs> yeah. That's, that's why I'm on Jackass because I'm like, oh, everything's cool. yeah, I'll just weird. get in this limo now. <laughs> <laughs> I was getting this bomb shelter, and yeah. then, uh, but uh, no, I think like like it just became like you know you're known for this, Rab's known for yeah, that, that's like weird, someone's huh? known for yeah, this. Categorize and, everyone, wants and to it did. It had to be box. yeah, and I think that's what happened. And and Brandon for sure is somebody that can't be put in that box. And I think like it's like dude, he does funny ass prank calls. He does like you know freestyle rap things. He does like funny characters. Then he also does crazy shit that jackass type, type stuff too and it's like but then it just got weird because then you're like all right everybody wants to see you only doing jackass type stuff and then it's like but 
the CKY videos kind of had an element of other things that like weren't just jackass, you yeah. know? And then like where Brandon really thrives is like that stuff, like yeah. calling up some random dude and being like, you said, fuck you to your, my wife on her birthday. Like oh my God, that that's stuff so, is that shit. funny oh, as hell. Yeah, yeah. 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 And, and like, I don't know. And I think it just kind of like killed that in him, but yeah, but it didn't because he's like almost like Jerry Lewis had that hidden movie that no one saw, you know, the day that the day the clown died that oh, I've heard of that. Yeah. I never saw yeah. It. So it's almost like that with Brandon because he, he just has a whole ton of stuff that he's filmed. That's hilarious. And like, he what doesn't it? show it to anybody. The Joey Franz guy. Has? Yeah. <laughs> no, he, he, Brandon has it on like hard drives. Oh. Whenever I'll go over and hang out, he'll be like, Hey, Rab, Rabby, come, come watch this. And then they'll show me something. I'm like, this is fucking just, awesome. Just, just ask him to get you something. Yeah. Out of the fridge. Take it, take it all and put it out. Yeah, put it on I know. Room. I feel like I need to. Well, no, we please. need to ransack his house. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I'll help you. I got a ski mask. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And Let's drugs. do it. Yeah. <laughs> Lots Drug of drugs. <laughs> we'll have our way with yeah. him and take all his hard drives. That's all the plan. I love that the have your way with him had to be in there. We'll get Chris with his random boner as he's oh, behind yeah. you. <laughs> Yeah, he likes to have his way. Yeah, he's really good at having his you way. You know that story? I actually wasn't there <laughs> on this one, but we're we're um. Wee Man, how does this work? So Chris was late, and they were going to shoot. They were going to shoot a jackass thing, and Chris showed up, and Wee Man took a thing of mustard and squirted at him and ran, and then, and then Chris took his shirt off, took the mustard, and wrote rape on his chest, and then <laughs> chased Wee Man down. He's like, Wee Man's like, quit it, man! It was a joke, dude. Leave me alone. And he's like, no, man, I'm raping you. Yeah. And it got to the point where he had him pinned down, and and like Wee Man's like, somebody help me! And no one would help him, and like. All signs pointed to Wee Man's about to get you know, the Warhammer. Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> and then uh, I kind of forgot the rest of the story. Dude, that's so good, <laughs> though. I, lo I, lo I love the fact that he just was able to turn the shit right around. Oh, yeah. You know? so scary. Just rape and mustard. <laughs> could have wrote rape. Uh -huh. mustard, yes, mustard yes, thing, yes. Uh -huh. He oh. still hates it. <laughs> yeah, like one day he's going to be like, I love mustard now. <laughs> All of a sudden. Yeah. He, he always has some, like, chemical explanation for that. Does uh, he still have all the hair? Oh yeah. oh, yeah. And it's, like, turning gray and white like oh, he's wow. like really mad scientist at this yeah. point it's amazing wow. i like that dude <laughs> oh yeah well boy it's, what it's been good you're gonna leave i'm getting you're out you're doing wind down on Here, me. i'm gonna leave i'm gonna leave you you got another hour oh okay? cool man <laughs> oh, welcome to my, my podcast is really good because i'm gonna talk to myself can i have both microphones please oh, he really did live what oh okay bye <laughs>